So here we are again at the Oceana getting our black cod to make some wonderful dishes. It's really nice that these folks can uh, sell us dockside these nice fresh fish. It just doesn't come any fresher. All right, so here is part of our haul from the Oceana. This is a, a beautiful black cod. This is a really delicious fish. We're going to trim this up for uh, for making the. We're going to make a couple of dishes out of this, um, and I'm just going to trim this part off because obviously you cannot get this to cook evenly, correct? So what I'm going to do with these is put them in the smoker and make some smoked fish. So now I'm going to cut these into portions and like so and so. And again, I'm going to smoke this third piece, but that's actually pretty usable. You could use that one. Come over here. Now there is, black cod does definitely come with bones and I, they're, uh, they're all located in one place and they're easy to find. They're all right down the middle. You can see them sticking up right here. And once you cook it and you're going to eat that, uh, they're really easy to take out while you eat. So there are four pieces of black cod and we'll uh, come back and get them ready to marinate. All right, so first we are making ginger lime black cod. This is a really good recipe. It's totally delicious and it's very simple. So I've got here about three garlic cloves all chopped up. We're, gonna, we're making the marinade here. I have about an inch and a half of ginger grated, and I have the zest of one lime. Get all that in. And then we're looking for two tablespoons of lime juice and I'm not convinced I'm going to get that out of this one lime so I'm actually going to measure a little here just to see. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be just a little bit shy. But you know, after, after zesting the lime you really kind of want to use it. Just, Okay, that's pretty close to two tablespoons. Um, and then two tablespoons of agave. One tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to mix this up. Mix and mix. And since I was a little short on the lime, and uh, this is a lime. <laughs> it's really hard to find. It's on the shelf behind some things. Oh, there, there you go. go. Labeled lime. We have some uh, freshly squeezed lime juice in the fridge, and I'm just going to add a little bit more of that. It takes up a lot less room than 30 limes. And then we take our fish. Does that fit in a smaller bag? I bet it will. After all that hunting for bags. Looks like it's going to fit in here. Pick our fish into a resealable bag. You could do this with a, uh, a food saver bag if you wanted. Um, 
but these are easier to reuse. And then we're just gonna put all of our marinade in there. Squeeze the, ju the air out of here. Seal it up. And then make sure we're getting the uh, juice everywhere. And this is going to marinate for at least an hour. Um, in this case, it's going to marinate for longer than that because it's got plenty of time before dinner. So we'll uh, get this in the fridge and let it be for a while. All right, so our black cod has been marinating here. And we're gonna take it out of the marinade. I'm gonna get most of the, any chunks of uh, stuff that are on it. And we're gonna put it, if you have cod that still has the skin on it, put it skin side down on a piece of parchment paper. A uh, cookie sheet, you could use a baking pan, it really doesn't matter. This is not going to um, bleed a lot of juice out, really. Uh, and we're going to pop this into a 400 degree oven for 12 minutes, 12 to 15. Um, this really should be done in 12 minutes. Okay, this was actually 13 minutes. I looked at them after 12 and thought maybe one more minute. You can see how it's cracked right along here. That's a beautiful sign that it's cooked. And uh, this is a forgiving fish. You can overcook this fish and it's so oily that it just stays moist. Um, of course, we'd prefer not to, but um, anyway, you can hardly go wrong with this. We'll get this on a plate and uh, see what we like. Right, so we're serving it up with a little bit of broccoli and uh, we're on a diet. So uh, this is just going to be a really nice little meal. Uh, so thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen and uh, we'll see you next time.